Example 25. Ali, Bob and Ravi bought tickets for three separate performances. The table below shows the number of tickets bought by each of them. Ali bought two concert tickets, one orchestra ticket and one opera ticket. Bob bought one concert ticket, one orchestra ticket and one opera ticket. Ravi bought two concert tickets, two orchestra tickets and one opera ticket. Question A. If the total cost for Ali was 122 ringgit, for Bob 87 ringgit and for Ravi 146 ringgit, represent this information in the form of three equations. First of all, we let X, Y and Z represent the price per concert ticket, price per orchestra ticket and price per opera ticket respectively. Ali bought two concert tickets, one orchestra ticket and one opera ticket for 122 ringgit in total. We represent this piece of information as 2x plus y plus z is equal to 122. Bob bought one concert ticket, one orchestra ticket and one opera ticket for 87 ringgit in total. We represent this piece of information as x plus y plus z is equal to 87. Ravi bought two concert tickets, two orchestra tickets and one opera ticket for 146 ringgit in total. We represent this piece of information as 2x plus 2y plus z equals to 146. With that, we have our three linear equations. Question B. Find the cost per ticket for each of the performances using Gauss-Jordan elimination method. In order to find the cost per ticket for each of the performances using Gauss-Jordan elimination method, we first need to form the augmented matrix. On our left, we have the matrix containing the elements made up of the coefficients of x, y and z of the three linear equations, whereas the right-hand side is occupied by the elements 122, 87 and 146. Let us now refer to the respective columns, going from column 1, column 2 and column 3 when creating equations for the new rows. Remember to leave the procedure involving matrix diagonals for the end. The letter C is used to denote the element we are changing, whereas the letter D is used to denote the diagonal element. R1 represents row 1, R2 represents row 2, and R3 represents row 3. New row 1, new row 2, and new row 3 are written as R1, R2, and R3 with an asterisk symbol. Let's begin with our first step. For this, we refer to column 1 of the matrix. We leave the diagonal elements of the matrix as they are. With reference to column 1, row 2 and row 3 contain the elements that will be changed. Now referring to row 2, the element in row 2 that will be changed is 1, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 2, which exists in row 1. Then, we find the equation for new row 2 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 2 is equal to 2R2 minus R1. The same procedure is repeated for row 3, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element, up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 3. With that, new row 3 is equal to 2R3 minus 2R1. Row 1 remains unchanged in this step. Therefore, we just rewrite all the elements from row 1 as they are. Bear in mind that, at this point, all the elements in column 1 besides the diagonal element have been changed to 0. Moving on to our second step, we now refer to column 2 of the matrix. With reference to column 2, row 1 and row 3 contain the elements that will be changed. 
Now referring to row 1, the element in row 1 that will be changed is 1, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 1, which exists in row 2. Then, we find the equation for new row 1 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 1 is equal to R1 minus R2. The same procedure is repeated for row 3, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 3. With that, we get new row 3 is equal to R3 minus 2R2. Row 2 remains unchanged in this step. Therefore, we just rewrite all the elements from row 2 as they are. Bear in mind that at this point, all the elements in column 2 besides the diagonal element have been changed to 0. Let's proceed to the third step which we are going to do by referring to column 3 of the matrix. With reference to column 3, row 1 and row 2 contain the elements that will be changed. Now referring to row 1, the element in row 1 that will be changed is 0, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is negative 2, which exists in row 3. Then, we find the equation for new row 1 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 1 is equal to negative 2 R1 minus 0. The same procedure is repeated for row 2, starting with the establishment of the elements that will be changed and the diagonal element up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 2. With that, new row 2 is equal to negative 2 R2 minus R3. For the fourth and final step of this technique we are using to execute ERO, we refer to the matrix diagonal. With reference to the matrix diagonal of the matrix on the left-hand side of the augmented system, we divide each row by the diagonal element to create an identity matrix on the left. So row 1 is divided by negative 4, row 2 is divided by negative 2, and row 3 is divided by negative 2. With that, the matrix obtained on the right-hand side of the augmented system is our x, y, and z. Therefore, x is equal to 35 ringgit, y is equal to 24 ringgit, and z is equal to 28 ringgit. In other words, the price per concert ticket is 35 ringgit, price per orchestra ticket is 24 ringgit, and price per opera ticket is 28 ringgit. Question C. Determine how much it would cost Hassan to purchase two concert tickets, one orchestra ticket and three opera tickets. Since X represents price per concert ticket, Y represents price per orchestra ticket and Z represents price per opera ticket, let's combine this representation with the two concert tickets, one orchestra ticket and three opera tickets purchased by Hassan. That gives us 2x plus y plus 3z. We found earlier that x is equal to 35 ringgit, y is equal to 24 ringgit, and z is equal to 28 ringgit. Substituting these values into 2x plus y plus 3z gives us 2 times 35 plus 24 plus 3 times 28 for a combined total of 178 ringgit. Therefore, it would cost Hassan 178 ringgit to purchase two concert tickets, one orchestra ticket, and three opera tickets.